All right, everybody. Welcome to JWB's Property of the Week. As you can see, I'm excited about football season, and I hope you are too. If you guys haven't heard me speak before, you know that the city of Pittsburgh is near and dear to my heart, and it's time for the Steelers to start their campaign for their seventh world championship. And it starts on Monday night. I'm a little bit excited. I hope you all are excited that football is making a comeback. And uh, we have some positive news there. And we also have some positive news when it comes to the property of the week. This is something that I do for all of our clients and all of our investors who pay attention to investing in rental properties in Jacksonville, Florida, either on our Facebook group or on the Not Your Average Investor Show. The property I bring to you is actually, I reveal it every Thursday on the show, on the Not Your Average Investor Show. Today, of course, is Friday. So I do a recap for those who couldn't make the show where I break down the property. And this is a great opportunity to acquire a property that I, of course, believe in here in Jacksonville. And I'll tell you why I believe so strongly in it. Um, so it is currently available. But more than that, it's a great learning opportunity for those who might not be ready to take that leap yet. You need to have a few trial runs. Well, keep tuning into our Facebook group, keep turning into the show. And that's what this can be for you. So I reveal a new property of the week every Thursday at 1230 on the show. And you can register for that at jwbshow.com. Hope to see you there. We had an awesome show yesterday. It was our most highly attended show. I think we had 40, 45 investors that were there asking incredible questions. So cool opportunity. I'm going to bring some of those questions to the forefront for our discussion here today. And without further ado, we're going to jump right into the screen share here and into this property here at 3604 Ledbury Street. All right, there we go. We've got 3604 Ledbury Street. As you can see here, it's a renovated home. So we love renovated homes here at JWB. We love new construction homes. We love the homes that can provide consistent positive cash flow that can be managed by a world-class team that are in a growth market like Jacksonville. And whether that's new construction or renovations, we like them both. The path to getting to incredible returns on investment is different for a new construction home versus a renovated home. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through that here. It's gonna be one of the teaching points that we talk about today. Um, but as you can see here, renovated home, Ledbury Street in the 32210 zip code, which if you're not familiar with Jacksonville, an incredible zip code for you to be investing in. It's one that I personally have been investing in since 2006. And I'll show you on the map here really where it is. It's on the west side of Jacksonville. And you wanna choose your neighborhoods where you have low prices, high rents, and you're surrounded by jobs. And I'm gonna show you why 32210 and the west side of Jacksonville fits the description for those criteria right there. Um, but we'll give you a little bit of a look at the numbers here. Um, the first and most important number is always to check out your return on investment, right? So when I'm quoting returns on investment, your estimated returns on investment, I'm assuming you're buying with conventional financing. That's just a nice way to compare apples to apples week in and week out here. Um, our returns are going to be between nine to 11%. And so you can see here that we're at 10.4%. And I'm kind of, you can see I'm a little distracted here. I'm jumping onto the group on, the, on, the, um, on my phone here. That way I can see any questions or comments that you guys are posting, I'll try my best to respond to those here live as I appreciate each and every single one of you um, for spending some time with me here. Um, I see Jake Hargrove is there and he said, he's sorry he missed yesterday's show. Jake, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can tell you the depth of despair that Pablo and I had by not having you on the show yesterday, my friend. Not having the yo from Jake Hargrove was, was a lot. So. I don't want to make you feel a little bit bad. I want to make you feel this much bad for not showing up yesterday. We missed you, buddy, but I'm glad you're here uh, now going through the property of the week. So first and most important things, you always want to look at your return on investment. Now, this is your return on investment from all things related to cash flow, related to um, your tax savings, related to your principal pay down. This does not include property appreciation. And you want to be between 9 to 11% if you can get into a growth market like Jacksonville, it's very hard to do. So 10.4% is near the higher end of that. So we certainly like that. Roughly $300 a month of cash flow on a normal month is incredible. So we love that. These other return calculations have to do with different purchasing methods. So the top one is if you're buying in cash. And this middle one is if you're buying with something called non-recourse financing. What you should think about in terms of non-recourse financing, that's when you're buying in your retirement account 
generally speaking. That's a very specific type of loan that you need. It's called a non-recourse loan and a completely different buying type and a completely different set of criteria for what makes a great investment there. And we'll talk about that in a future walk and talk video here. All right, so there are the numbers on Ledbury. Let me show you, just kind of acclimate you guys to Jacksonville. So here's a map that for those who are current clients, you have seen this before. You, uh, we walk you through this as a part of our onboarding process before we get to property selection. We do a little bit of a virtual tour with those folks who, uh, who are in the onboarding process. And so this is what you're gonna see. This is Jacksonville. This is the St. John's River, right? This is the Atlantic Ocean out here. And all these blue markers are all the homes that JWB has bought, built, renovated, and sold to our clients. And we do the property management for them. There's over 2,000 homes here that we have bought and sold to clients as 2,000 prop uh, as turnkey properties. It's important when you're thinking about making a turnkey rental property investment, you better work with somebody who has been through this time and time and time again, thousands of times, because it is not easy to create a completely passive experience and to hit your return on investment. And that is the most important thing. So it's really cool to see kind of our footprint. You learn a lot about what areas we like. Well, this area right here is called the west side of Jacksonville. The west side means anything west of the St. John's River and then south of I-10, right? So this area right here out of the, we, we do manage over 3,600 properties total. Out of that, probably a thousand are on the west side right here. I mean, it's an area that we know and love a lot. So this marker right here, I don't know if that's green or yellow, I'm colorblind, but we'll go with green. Um, that is Ledbury. That's the home that I'm talking about here that I just showed you. So it is right in the heart of the West Side. Now, one of the reasons I love the West Side so much is because of the job creators that are there. And there are great job creators. I could tell you a similar narrative for the North Side or Arlington or the South Side over here, right? But I'm going to focus on the, on the West Side here and the job creators here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. All right. I'm going to zoom in a lot here. So I want you guys to see this. Whoop, we'll go out a little bit there. Naval Air Station Jacksonville. It's one of the single greatest large, the single greatest job creators we have in the city of Jacksonville. That's our Naval Air Base. Over 20,000 jobs right here. And many live on base and many live off base here. So one of the largest job creators is right there on the west side of Jacksonville. We've also been able to make a lot of news by a little company called Amazon. Well, no. If any of you have heard of Amazon, it's kind of a, I don't know, maybe a startup. You guys might have heard of it. Um, Amazon started to make an investment in Jacksonville in 2017 because of our logistics prowess. We are a logistics center, right? We, uh, from rail, from ground, from the port, um, we have the ability to move goods very quickly and efficiently that other places in the country don't have. So that would obviously come into play for Amazon. So Amazon, since 2017, has made additional distribution center investments every year. They're now up to six. That was the most recent news from January of this year. The first distribution facility that Amazon put in place, let me show you where that one was, 13333 103rd Street, okay? This is one of the reasons why we love the job creators on the west side, right? That is the first single uh, distribution facility from Amazon here in Jacksonville. Over 1,500 jobs in one distribution facility. And that was the first one. It has been so successful. Again, Amazon currently has four other ones built out. They're on the west side and on the north side as you go up here. And they have two more in the works. I want to show you where the sixth one is. So the sixth facility is going to be uh, up on Lloyd Road which is up here, right? The fifth one is here on Blanding. It's at, let's see here. Let me put this in, 4645 Blanding Boulevard. All right, guess what? That's on the west side, okay? All right, you see here, Naval Air Station Jacksonville, Leadbury's right around here. Well, this is Blanding, this is the fifth distribution facility for Amazon. So just some insight, we're surrounded by Amazon distribution facilities. We've got Naval Air Station Jacksonville, Cecil Commerce Center is out here. 
We've got a lot of job creators and that's what makes our renting base so strong. We also have low purchase prices on the west side. You want to be below the median income in your area and we are below the median income here um, for the property on Ledbury. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple more things here about how we get to this 10.4% return. You know, what I mentioned is, as I stop the screen share there, uh, what I mentioned there is that for a new construction home, it's gonna be a different path to getting to that return on investment than it is for a renovated home. Both are great, but you need to get there a different way. So for new construction, you're generally going to see higher purchase prices. So when I'm looking at this home here on uh, Ledbury, you know, that home, it's a large home, 1,800 square feet. That purchase price, if it was brand new construction, would be well over 200000 If you guys have been paying attention to the properties of the week over the past month, six weeks, eight weeks or so, you've seen some new construction homes and they're over 200000 So this home is a renovation. You're able to get a slightly lower purchase price because the market value is slightly lower because it's, uh, because it's not brand new construction. So the purchase price is lower here. That helps you get to that, call it 10.5% return on investment. I'm going to point out a couple more things here, though, because I want you to see the numbers here. All right. As I zoom in here, you can see here, Leadbury, that purchase price of 193 Take a look at something you might not be thinking about, property taxes. $2,700 on a $193,000 purchase market value property is low. Again, if this was new construction, your purchase price would be higher and your property taxes would be higher. So it's harder to get there if you're in a renovated, excuse me, if you're a new construction home, right? For renovated properties, your rent to price ratio generally is going to be a little bit better. That helps you get you a higher return on investment. Now, here's something that kind of works against you from a return perspective for renovated homes. Your insurance costs. New construction homes have lower insurance costs, generally speaking. So almost $900 a year, that's tougher to get to your end goal of you know, 9 to 11% returns. You have to have a better rent to price ratio to overcome that. And of course we do for this property on Ledbury. So typical insurance for a brand new construction home might be around $450 a year. So you're gonna get, um, you're gonna have extra expense there because it's a renovated home. But here's the kicker. Your rents are so strong on this property. One of the ways we do that is by uh, investing in homes that have more bedrooms, right? Now, I love homes that have three bedrooms, four bedrooms, even two bedroom homes. If the numbers can work, if the rents are strong enough and prices are low enough and other expenses work. But when you have a five bedroom home, you're able to get a lot of rent for the home. So 1424 is a great rent amount. That is what helps us achieve that 10 and a half percent roughly return on investment. So overall here, we've got this property at Leadbury. It's uh, just about 10.5% estimated return on investment. Does not include property appreciation. If I was to include our property appreciation in Jacksonville, it would be well over 20% when you're looking at all of the profit centers for this property. But I'm going to keep it just focused on the cash flows. Uh, so about 10.5%, just under $300 a month in cash flow. This is one I love. For you, if you're thinking about adding it to your rental property portfolio, you should reach out to my team. If you're already a client, reach out to your portfolio manager. They're waiting to hear from you and they will certainly get uh, a call set up. Uh, if you're new to JWB and you want to start the conversation, you want to schedule a time at chatwithjwb.com. That's chatwithjwb.com. Or you can always send me a message. You can leave a comment. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a, a screenshot of this and post it in the comments so you can kind of see the property evaluation and get familiar with it. Uh, but with that, I hope you guys have a very happy return to NFL football weekend uh, this weekend and um, happy investing. Take care.